This is the story of Ricky the Squirrel, Howard the Squirrel, Ricky's dad. I've written a puppet show, um, and it's really based upon myself, but I use squirrels. And, and with that, I, I tell the story of, of a child who um, needs help from his father uh, with his homework and, and some reading. Hey, Dad, will you help me with my reading? Uh, I can't. I have something else to do. Dad admits that he struggles with reading and writing um, and that, uh, you know, he's going to, to get help uh, with his, his literacy skills. John Zikafus loves to perform the puppet show he wrote, but he wasn't always as confident in front of an audience. Just four years ago, John's reading and writing skills were so limited that he had a difficult time reading to his own kids. You should be able to, to sit down with your kids or, or your child and, and open a book and share it. And, and this should be a fun, enjoyable, pleasurable experience. Well, it, it, it wasn't. Um, it was uncomfortable. And as I said, um, it became more and more as uh, my kids got older, especially my oldest, because he was learning to read himself. And as we'd go through even just a simple children's book, he would when I got the words wrong, um, and not to embarrass me, but correct me. I have to say that was pretty, pretty difficult. <laughs> what it did to me was, you know, it was somewhat devastating. I mean, it really hurt um, because here, a uh, little eight-year-old was able to uh, I, I you know, don't know. read this simple she book start better than I, uh, a man Apparently, of 35 years old. They wouldn't let her stay up past midnight. John decided that wasn't good enough. He enrolled in the literacy program at the Corona Public Library. They matched him up with a tutor. After four years, John became a student liaison for the library. Now he goes out into the community and talks about his personal challenge Anyways, to improve his skills. On top of that, John also coordinates the library's family literacy program. Corona Public Library adult literacy program can help you. My job is the perfect job for me. I get to work with um, the, the parents of uh, uh, children who, adults who struggle with their literacy skills and instill in them really how important it is um, to not only do it for themselves to work on their literacy skills, but for their children so they are able to, to help them. Because there's really something very special about a, a parent um, sharing books with a, a child that uh, is it's almost magical in a way. Um, and just because you struggle at it does not mean that you shouldn't do it. John has found that children's literature has opened up a whole new world for him, one he can share with his children. And picking books together is where it all starts. Involving your children in the selection of books, be it at the library, be it at your local bookstore, is very important. In the selection of books, it really somewhat is determined by the age of your child what it's going to be used for. If it's for a book report, well, that's pretty easy to figure out because you'll usually have some sort of direction via the teacher. If it's for a preschooler, what, what, what do they like? Um, what do they like mom or dad to read to them? They see you, you doing it and opening and enjoying books. They, in turn, will do the same. John encourages parents who come to the library to make reading fun for their children. If it's just opening the book isn't working, try and figure out what is going to work. How can you share that story in a way that is of interest to your child, be it puppetry, um, putting a sock over your hand. <laughs> if you're reading about your family, you draw mom, dad, and you know brother, sisters, the dog. It's also a way of checking comprehension. You know. Tell me what we just read, or what you just read. Draw me a picture about what the story was telling. And it's a really good way to, to check to see if your child really is understanding what's happening in that book. Whatever is going to get your child interested and in wanting to open up books and share and experience the love and instill that into your child is, is what you have to do. Let's take a second look. If you wanted to read a book with your kids, what should you do? Well, according to John, it helps to select the book with your children. Pick a book that's right for their age. You can also ask a librarian for help. Involve your children in the story by talking about what happened or drawing a picture with them. It's all part of making reading an integral part of your children's lives.